We now know the cause of the Cerro Palado fire that burned more than 45,000 acres in the Jemez Mountains. And today, the Forest Service saying it was caused by a holdover fire from a prescribed pile burn last year. This started in February last year. Forest Service officials saying it was dormant and covered with snow, claiming there were no signs of smoke or heat. The Cerro Palado fire ignited months later in April. The department saying in part this, we are committed to transparency and dialogue with the community and sharing the results of this investigation is a critical part of that work. The Forest Service's next step is to conduct a thorough internal declared wildfire review, which will determine the lessons learned and actions we can take to help conduct prescribed fire more safely and reduce the risk of escapes. And the governor writing in part, I am again outraged over the U.S. Forest Service negligence that caused this destruction. We will continue to hold the federal government accountable for each of the disastrous fires they caused in our state last summer. Prescribed burns also causing the Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak Fire, the largest in our history. After that, the Forest Service implemented a 90-day national delay on prescribed burns. Firefighters now monitor pile burns using thermal devices and drones to detect heat. And new tonight, late this afternoon, we spoke with Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez about this announcement. If you start a pile burn, you should make sure it is out. You should make sure it is out by visual cues, but we have infrared technology. We have drones and they did not use that technology to monitor the Calf Canyon uh, pile burn, or now we have learned the Cerro Pelado pile burn, and that is unacceptable. She told us a congressional hearing was held with Forest Service Chief Randy Moore questioning if they use every single type of technology at their disposal to stop the flames.